So the other day I broke down and decided to finally update my aging Xbox One with a new Xbox One X. Now I'll go ahead and talk about the decision to go ahead and make that upgrade in a future video, but for now what I wanted to talk about were the ways that you could capture footage directly to the Xbox One and how you can kind of get that into your PC to get ready for editing for your YouTube videos. Because while it's easy enough to save clips on the Xbox One, it's not immediately clear how you can get those into your editing software on your Mac or PC to do a more highly produced video. So today I wanted to go over three different ways that you can capture footage from your Xbox One without using a capture card, and then get that footage directly into your PC for editing, whether you're doing a tutorial, a walkthrough, a review, an achievement hunting guide, whatever it is, so that you can make that footage more usable for your editing workflows and ultimately get it to YouTube. Now before we go ahead and dive into the three different ways that you can do this, I will say that honestly the easiest way to do it is using a capture card, although it's definitely more expensive. And I'm not going to go into some in-depth explanation of all of those because I already made a video about that, which you can see if you click on the card up here, it kind of goes over some of the different options you can find from Elgato for this purpose. But because we're trying to do this without having to rely on a capture card, let's go ahead and dive into the three methods that you can utilize to get those clips off of your Xbox One and onto your PC so you can actually edit it using something like Final Cut or Adobe Premiere. The first way you can do this, which is probably the easiest, albeit a little bit more time consuming, is using Microsoft's OneDrive functionality. Now, OneDrive is technically part of the Microsoft Office suite, but everybody gets five gigabytes of online storage space for free, which you can then pay to upgrade like other services like Dropbox, for example. Basically, after you've saved all of the clips that you want to to your Xbox's internal hard drive, then you can select those clips either one at a time or as a range and then upload them directly to OneDrive, where they're stored by default in videos, Xbox game DVR. Just log in with your Microsoft account at onedrive.live.com to see them. Then you can sort them by things like date, name, or an ascending or descending order. And as you hover over each clip, you'll notice a radio button in the upper right. You can check these across multiple clips to download multiple files at once. So click either a single video or a range, and then you can click the download button at the top of the menu to save them all to your local drive. From here, they're stored as MP4 files, so it should be fairly easy for you to go ahead and drag them into your editor of choice. Now, if you don't feel like fooling with OneDrive, there is another web-based solution, and that would be using third-party websites to grab these clips. These would include sites like xboxclips.com or xboxdvr. Some are free, some are paid, and the feature set from website to website varies, but ultimately what you do is you just go to these sites, type in your gamer tag, and then any published clips that you've saved to your Xbox will be available for you to download. And these also are saved as MP4 files. The major advantage of using sites like these is you can bypass the process of first uploading things to Microsoft's OneDrive and then retrieving them again, which is sort of an extra step, but it's not without its drawbacks either. Because it's a third party site, you're not 100% sure what they're doing with your information necessarily, and beyond that, sites like this can pop up and fade out over time, so it's kind of a crapshoot in that regard. But if you're in a little bit of a rush and you just need one or two clips for a project that you happen to be working on at the time, they can be a really good solution. I've actually had some pretty decent success with them. Not to mention a lot of these work on mobile as well, so you can save these off to your tablet or to your phone if you do a lot of your editing using a mobile app, for example. And finally, the last way that you can do this is through good old-fashioned sneaker net. If you really want to go old school, kind of, you can plug a dedicated USB drive into your Xbox One, whether that's a hard drive or just a flash drive, and this will allow you to capture game DVR clips through one of your Xbox's USB ports. It'll have to be USB 3 and formatted specifically for game DVR, however. You can do this by plugging an NTFS formatted drive into one of your Xbox's USB ports. In addition to just freeing up space on your internal drive, it also increases the recording limit to one hour, which is helpful if you're doing a longer format style video, or you just want to have more flexibility in the editing room if you're doing a particularly complex project. After you plug the USB drive into your Xbox, if you're prompted to use this for media, just say yes, because this data is going to be treated differently than things like game save or application data, for example. Then when you're done, you can just plug this into your PC or Mac and pull the footage off of it that way, and then drag it into your editor. All right, so that's it. Those are just three methods that I've used to basically get clips off of my Xbox and then onto my Mac so I can edit in Final Cut or if you want to edit in Premiere or something like that. But what about you? Have you ever had any issues getting clips from a console to your PC? If so, I would love to hear about any of the solutions that you've come up with as somebody who edits a fair amount of video game footage myself. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to be notified when new stuff like this comes out every Friday. And I will see you on the next video. All right, bye.